I have the higher ground, don't try anything. I am more powerful than you can ever imagine. <sighs> can Honor beat Huawei the Magic 4 Ultimate against the Mate 40 Pro in terms of cameras? So let's get started. So let's talk a bit about the specs and you can see both from the same family basically with the same camera bump. We have a very large cine lens on the Huawei Mate 40 Pro, a very large main lens and a periscope zoom lens that can zoom up to five times optically. And on the Magic 4 Ultimate we have a three and a half time zoom lens but with a very large pixel count sensor behind it a very large almost one inch sized main sensor and then we have also an ultra spectrum camera that helps with adding a little bit more details so which one will be the winner in terms of main cameras and also the cameras when it comes to the front so let's flip them over and there we can see the main camera lenses and sensors. As you can see here, both feature 3D face unlock, but yeah, the first generation basically on the Huawei and uh, the Honor has like the second or third generation already. 13 megapixels, I think, front facing camera on the Mate 40 Pro, 12 megapixels on the Magic 4 Ultimate. And I think we will start with this front facing cameras to see which one is better. Uh, one big advantage on the front facing camera of the Mate 40 Pro is that you can get 4K 60 frames per second and this is something that you cannot get on the Magic 4 Ultimate. How stabilization here? I have the option also to uh, not only have this 0.8 times magnification but I can go to the wide angle as you can see here so a super wide angle on the front which is also pretty nice for vlogging I would say. Stabilization is fine as well and I can go even one times if I need to uh, for like closer up shots and uh, yeah also stabilization is fine here but I like the 0.8 times because this is I think the best in terms of uh, vlogging capability. What do you think about the quality here stabilization colors and HDR the sun should be yeah coming from the side here I hope this is good let's check out what the Magic 4 Ultimate has to offer. And this is now the video with the Magic 4 Ultimate's front-facing camera in white, which is the default, which it chooses by default. And uh, yeah, I can go to 0.8 times. This is 0.8 times, not much of a difference, I would say here. And I can also go to one times if I need to. Stabilization and uh, colors, how are they? Um, just like the Ma Mate 40 Pro, the Magic 4 Ultimate doesn't have any autofocus on the front-facing camera. So this is the only thing that you can get here and still i think it's good if you want to vlog with the front facing camera though there is a limitation another limitation if you record in 4k only 15 minutes you can record in 4k 30 so yeah if you want to record more you have to record in 1080p you can do 1080p 60 frames per second though so what do you think about this one here yeah. And now I'm recording with the Mate 40 Pro's CineLens, the ultra wide angle, which is not so ultra. It's just like a little bit of a wider angle uh, kind of view. I think it's like 16, 17 degrees, if I'm not mistaken, or 18 millimeters only. Uh, so yeah, this is the uh, Mate 40 Pro 4K 60 frames per second. Also very, very good because what you can do on the Mate 40 Pro is you have the ability to zoom in. You can all you can use all the lenses. Let's 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 show it. Just simply show it with this flag here. I can go to the one times now. It switched to the one time lens, and I can go up to now. It's switched again. This is five times, and I can go up to ten times. And you can read everything here on this sign. And let me go back to the one time lens and now i'm at it one part uh, time and you can see the background blur around me you can see maybe hdr and uh, yeah the stabilization of this lens which is pretty pretty awesome not only for its time but still is one of the best in terms of uh, cameras on the back of a smartphone what do you think so we start off with the ultra wide angle on the magic 4 ultimate which is a lot wider than on the mate 40 pro 
but can only record 4K 30 frames per second and I think no 60 frames per second also on the zoom lens which is pretty bad so the only thing that you can do is here 4K 30 maximum where you can use all the lenses on this great device and uh, yeah this is the ultra wide angle here right now uh, what do you think about the stabilization and quality and of course we can do a small zoom test as well so let's have the same flag here I go a little bit closer maybe there we go and then this is now roughly one times it switched lenses I think it switched a little bit more smoothly the lens now we zoom in to roughly four times it switched lenses 4.5 times I think it switches lenses and then I can go up to 10 times which is the maximum that this can go in 4k 30 as you can see here quality should be on par with the mate 40 pro but again you have a limit let's go out here and let's go to the one time lens and what you can see here right now is the very very creamy bokeh behind me because this sensor is a one over one point two inch size sensor one over 1.12 inch size sensor actually so it's a bit larger than the one on the mate 40 pro and this is what creates this more nicey uh, bokeh but what about the quality of this video is this more pleasant especially with the sun with changing um, colors around me what do you think about this one here in comparison to the mate 40 pro what we will do right now is take some photos and I will compare them as well. I want to make this a little bit shorter than the last video I did with this comparison. So uh, let's see if I can do this or not. So let's take a look at the photos. Photos, Mate 40 Pro on the left, Magic 4 Ultimate on the right. More punchy colors on the Magic 4 Ultimate in all of the photos with the main sensor. You can see that it has more punchy colors, had more sharpening applied. You can see it in the sky, much more toned down on the Mate 40 Pro, much more punchy on the Magic 4 Ultimate. When we zoom in, zoom level, details almost the same. A bit more sharpness applied on the Magic 4 Ultimate. You can see it here, for example, where there's a bit more detail on the Mate 40 Pro and a bit more sharpening applied on the Magic 4 Ultimate. When you take a look at the ultra wide angle, we have a bit more toned down colors on the Magic 4 Ultimate. The Magic 4 Ultimate has a wider field of view. This is now 15 millimeters because it automatically switches in auto mode to the appropriate um, thing that it thinks it should be. You can go manually to 11 millimeters if you want to, but if you press the button only, I think it's roughly at 15 millimeters, 18 millimeters on the Mate 40 Pro. Mate 40 Pro is basically zooming out a little bit in contrast to the main lens, and we can see much more detail here. 40 megapixel sensor uh, that is uh, turning everything down to 20 megapixels, and we have uh, again here the 12 megapixel on the Ma Magic 4 Ultimate that it pixel bins from. 64 megapixels. What you can see here is tons of uh, sharpness applied, tons of yeah, punchy colors here again on the Mate uh, Magic 4 Ultimate, not so much in the sky, but the Mate 40 Pro is doing a better job here. It has the better ultra wide angle, more details, and uh, yeah, it's almost like a main sensor on the Mate 40 Pro where the Magic 4 Ultimate just has this um, high megapixel count, but also this super ultra wide angle. So the detail levels are, if you zoom in, just lacking. But you get the more dramatic effect on the Magic 4 Ultimate because it has this ultra wide angle. When we take a look at zoom shots here, this is three and a half times zoom. We can see that, of course, the Magic 4 Ultimate has an advantage here of the Mate 40 Pro. The Mate 40 Pro looks a bit hazy already. Um, Magic 4 Ultimate has tons of sharpening applied. Just look at the river here and uh, the sharpening applied, the, the smoothening out of stuff here. Uh, which the Mate 40 Pro does not do. Five times zoom, the Mate 40 Pro does a better job here, I would say. The Magic 4 Ultimate is a bit closer down, uh, closer up. This is now seven times zoom on the Magic 4 Ultimate. Uh, Mate 40 Pro does a better job in terms of it looks more natural, but also the colors are a bit better on the Mag Magic 4 Ultimate. When we take a look at seven times zoom and compare it to seven times zoom on the Magic 4 Ultimate, which is uh, also hybrid zoom on the Magic 4 Ultimate and um, Mate 40 Pro has five times optical zoom, seven times would be a bit further in. You can see night and day difference. The Magic 4 Ultimate does a better job. So basically five times zoom, Mate 40 Pro is better than the Magic uh, 4, uh, 4 Ultimate 
when it comes to 10 times zoom also you can see big difference mate 40 pro just cannot keep up with the magic 4 ultimate you can see it in very different photos uh, that i can show you later on first of all let's take a look at close-up shots we can get a little bit closer on the magic 4 ultimate in fact uh, the mate 40 pros um, yeah sensor you cannot get so close but you get more details here as well because it's just simply a better sensor and uh, yeah when we take a look at the main sensors they can also do close-up shots roughly the same distance apart from each other and both good shots made 40 pro more saturated here uh, more punchy colors magic 4 ultimate a bit more natural colors and in general i like it to, i like it a little bit more than magic 4 ultimate when we take a look at uh, how close you can get you can see I can get pretty close. Sometimes it's unsharp on the Mate 40 Pro. On the Magic 4 Ultimate, it's always unsharp if I use the uh, ultra wide angle. Um, macro mode, two times zoom I have enabled here, but it's still not giving me better sharpness. And uh, this is the best, uh, it's the ultra wide angle. Ultra wide angle at 11 millimeters giving me the best detail. But if I go to the Magic 4, uh, the Mate 40 Pro, uh, and get nail the focus, you can see it's getting a better macro shot here definitely zoom shots again more natural five times zoom here three and a half times zoom already heavy processed a little bit more details you can see here because it has heavy processing going on but both basically on, on par a bit of haziness always when i zoom in with the mate 40 pro uh, it doesn't have this on the magic 4 ultimate but this is like the best zoom shots they have natively five times on the mate 40 pro is the best more details you get here out of this and it's pretty pretty good Magic 4 Ultimate best would be three and a half times zoom. When we zoom in a little bit more, this is now five times against five times. You can see that there's a bit more clearness, a bit more clear on the Mate 40 Pro, even has this haziness than on the Magic 4 Ultimate. Uh, only if I go to like 10 times zoom, you can see both still doing good of a job if i don't zoom in but if i zoom in here you can see processing already on the mate 40 pro there's also processing heavy heavily applied sharpness and punchiness in the colors but it is looking just simply better on the magic 4 ultimate 10 times zoom so no difference there selfie cam more natural colors on the magic 4 ultimate skin color looks better it looks a bit yellowish on the mate 40 pro for some reason but when it comes to sharpness just take a look at here there's a bit of, it looks a bit artificial uh, sharpening applied on the Magic 4 Ultimate. It looks a bit more natural and look at the beard and the hairs. It's simply a bit more too contrasty on the Magic 4 Ultimate and I think the detail level is better on the Mate 40 Pro. Selfie cam also here, definitely the Mate 40 Pro where the Magic 4 Ultimate comes very close but uh, both doing a good picture but if I have to compare it, the Mate 40 Pro's uh, cam is better. When it comes to zoom shots, five times zoom native Mate 40 Pro, it's not the best for portraits. Five times zoom Magic 4 Ultimate, it's not the best for portraits still. Slightly different here, the color is more natural, a bit more details, maybe a bit smoothened out on the Mate 40 Pro. Uh, five times is not the native one, so this is a bit more, yeah, not so sharp on both. When I go to the three and a half times, you can see the three and a half times has also a bit different color here, a bit more warmer color, and compared to the three and a half times on the Mate 40 Pro, um, the color is a bit too bright here on this uh, shirt, where it's a bit more blue, which should be this black on the Mate as on the Mate 40 Pro. But the Mate 40 Pro is getting a bit softer again, where the um, Magic 4 Ultimate has its native zoom range, it's everything's nice sharp. And uh, yeah, portraits three and a half times Magic 4 Ultimate, definitely, even though the colors uh, need a little bit more processing, I would say uh, that's uh, this. Then when we take a look at real portrait shots, not real portrait shots, portrait shots in the portrait mode, uh, the colors flipping again. We have more natural colors on the Mate 40 Pro, a bit more processed colors on the Magic 4 Ultimate and skin smoothing on the Magic 4 Ultimate. It's like beauty mode turned on. Even though it's turned to zero, it's still applying some beauty filters. Uh, look at my fingers here. What is going on there? It shouldn't look like this. So yeah, Magic 4 Ultimate has a bit more details, a bit more softer on the Mate 40 Pro definitely, but the Mate 40 Pro, just because the colors are nailed right, um, colors are nailed right on my face, but you can see here now this has a bit of a bluish kind of tone and this here corrects it to black, so I'm nah, not sure what's going on there. Ultra wide angle, dramatic difference here again, Magic 4 Ultimate much wider, 
Uh, but much more processing going on here, much more sharpening, much more punching colors here, much more natural. So like I said before, you can switch even to 15 millimeters, 18 millimeters, just like the Mate 40 Pro to get a similar result. Uh, but uh, Mate 40 Pro, better ultra wide angle. Uh, zoom shots, I told you already about 10 times zoom here. Also, again, you can see much more difference. Look at the tree here. You can see this is a tree, planted tree. Here, you don't see it on the Mate 40 Pro much more details on the Magic 4 Ultimate. Then we come to the high-res zoom shots. Interestingly enough, high-res zoom shots, let's go here, 50 megapixels really on Mate 40 Pro and Magic 4 Ultimate. A little bit more detail, a little bit haze going on already on the Mate 40 Pro for some reason. The colors are wrong on the Mate 40 Pro. The Magic 4 Ultimate is doing a better job in terms of colors and also in terms of sharpness, a lot better job. Just take a look at here, people, the number here, much less clear on the Mate 40 Pro. But the Mate 40 Pro has an ace up its sleeve because it has an AI mode for high-res mode that uh, is enhancing everything. And if I zoom in here now, still the colors are not so good, but the sharpness, it's much better. Look at the details of this tree and the leaves there. You can see it. You don't see it here on the Magic 4 Ultimate, even though the colors are a bit wrong. Uh, the detail level gets enhanced and I'm not sure why the Magic 4 Ultimate doesn't have an AI high-res mode like the Magic 3 Pro Plus still had. Again, the Mate 40 Pro high-res mode is really, really cool and thanks to the one guy that said I should try it out. It's really, really cool. But I can do a high-res mode also on the zoom lens, on the tele-zoom lens on the Magic 4 Ultimate. Use the full 64 megapixels and then I can get a lot closer Granted, chromatic aberrations, granted, not the sharpest here and there. Granted, sometimes the colors are a bit wrong, but you can get even more stuff in detail. You can spy on people that are sitting here doing stuff. Uh, so yeah, this is uh, pretty good. You can also do, by the way, a high-res shot on the ultimate, on the ultra wide angle. Uh, you get this dramatic effect, but don't don't do it. Chromatic aberrations, nothing in this picture. I searched everywhere, it's sharp, and this looks like I'm high or drunk or something like this here on the side. So it, noisy, it's nothing is sharp. Don't use the high-res mode on the ultra wide angle on the uh, Magic 4 Ultimate. Let's take a look at another photo in pro mode to see how the colors change. Interestingly enough, the uh, colors get a bit dark, too dark on the Magic 4 Ultimate, it's a bit too bright on the Mate 40 Pro, so the automatic that's kicking in here is like not doing a good job, but the colors are more correct on the Magic 4 Ultimate. It's a bit too dark, granted, but here it's a bit too, uh, too punchy on the Mate 40 Pro, and especially if you compare the Magic 4 Ultimate's normal shot against the Pro Mode shot, the Pro Mode shot has more realistic colors. So this is one, so something I can recommend for those people who say, ah, the colors are not very realistic um, in the default mode. Use the Pro Mode, it's more realistic colors, even though you have to raise the shadows a little bit on the Magic 4 Ultimate. Then let's take a look here at the Selfie Mode again. Now, yeah, looks okay here. Looks more detailed, more sharp. Um, yeah, both doing a good job in this Pro Mode and uh, more natural colors on the Magic 4 Ultimate. The Pro Mode on the Mate 40 Pro still overexposes. You can see here, uh, yeah, my, my, my hat, my, my cappy overexposed and you don't have this issue HDR better on the Magic 4 Ultimate. Colors here on the Magic 4 Ultimate, uh, very close to the Mate 40 Pros. So more natural colors in general on the Magic 4 Ultimate if you go in this Night Mode. Um, dim lit situation, brighter picture on the Mate 40 Pro, but not as detailed as on the Magic 4 Ultimate. Magic 4 Ultimate has the larger sensor, better sensor, newer sensor. You can see it here, uh, tons of processing going on on the text here on the left, where it looks more natural here. Take a look at the bottom here, tons of processing going on here on the 600 milliliter sign and much more natural here. To take a look at the text here. It looks much more processed and harder to read than the more natural text here on the Magic 4 Ultimate. More details on the Magic 4 Ultimate in dimness situations. Uh, let's take a look at the darker shots. Really dark. I couldn't see anything here of this toolbox. And for some reason, you can see much more greenish, bluish kind of tint on the Mate 40 Pro. So it made this blue, which isn't this blue. It's more this black. You can see some kind of uh, yeah effect here, sharpening effect, especially here in the corner where it's like obvious that it's doing some sharpening and trying to do something which the Magic 4 Ultimate is not doing so it's less sharp in this case but has the right colors. A night mode, interestingly enough the night mode 7 seconds on the Mate 40 Pro doesn't improve much. Uh, it is improving the colors a little bit because this is now black 
but everything gets like a greenish kind of tint. The magic for ultimate is not only brighter, probably only two or three seconds exposure here, but also it nails the colors correctly. And I think also the detail levels is the detail levels are just simply on a different planet than the Mate 40 Pro. So there's much much more detail. It is better simply in night mode on the Magic 4 Ultimate. The Mate 40 Pro's main sensor cannot compete in terms of night mode with the Magic 4 Ultimate. What do you think? So now the ultra wide angle of the Mate 40 Pro and the sound quality in harsh wind conditions. So what about the sound here? It has a microphone on the back that I clearly can see. I cannot see it here on the Honor Magic uh, 4 Ultimate. As you can see here, close focusing distance is also very, very close. But there's no microphone at the back that I can see on the Magic 4 Ultimate. What do you think about the quality of the Mate 40? ultra-wide angle of the center lens and now 0.7 time ultra-wide angle on the Magic 4 Ultimate so you can zoom in a little bit which will crop into the uh, large 64 megapixel main no ultra-wide sensor of the Magic 4 Ultimate also uh, the internal microphone there's also a lot of wind going on not so much as on the Mate 40 Pro but I don't see any back facing or firing microphone array so it uh, yeah has to somehow else get my voice what do you think about this quality of the microphone and of course the ultra wide angle so who is the winner which one is the winner which one has the better camera system the magic 4 ultimate or the mate 40 pro i really have to say i like the mate 40 pro even after all those years but i can see the progress with the magic 4 ultimate and I think in this camera battle, even though the Mate 40 Pro produces a much more natural kind of shot, even it has some heavy post-processing going on, the Magic 4 Ultimate in the end has the slide edge in zoom, has the slide edge with the main camera sensor. And I think even with the ultra wide angle, they are very, very close. The Mate 40 Pro still has the better wider uh, wider ultra wide angle even though it's not so wide in terms of wider field but for videos and so on i think the mate 40 pro beats the magic 4 ultimate with the ultra wide angle but for photos the magic 4 ultimate and this dramatic 11 millimeters is something that you cannot reproduce with the mate 40 pro so here the magic 4 ultimate has the edge over the mate 40 pro all in all it's a very close yeah, combat I would say but the Magic 4 Ultimate is the clear winner here in this comparison in my opinion. What do you think? Write it down in the comment section. That's everything for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Until the next time. Bye.